Hey guys and welcome back to Honeycomb. Something a little bit different today. It's been about more than a year actually since we've opened up something like this on the channel. Um, it's something that we're super into and if you are a collector and you like sneakers as an art piece, here's something that's around the same price range that you might want to start collecting as well. Um, as much as I love all of my sneakers, I'm under no illusion that those are not breaking down and and degrading and getting older as I'm using them and they are functional that's why I love them but when it comes to art art you can really see as an investment that's you know a little bit more long term and one of the most democratic I would say forms of art is the vinyl art toy today we're gonna open up this box this is from Green Barrera we picked it up from a local gallery named vinyl on vinyl which is world-renowned we've done a lot of work with Gabby and Pia and the guys over at vinyl and vinyl over the years, I actually did not know that this was coming. I knew a little bit about the project. Um, I had spoken to Reen with it just a little. They posted about it on Instagram um, just hours before the show that these guys arrived in a crate and I drove right over. I actually saw the Instagram post. The show had already opened. It was like 8 p.m. and I texted them and I was like, hey, is there still stock? And they said there's barely stock. There were three different toys and only this one was left. They had double ordered and these were a preview. So this toy will not come out officially until San Diego Comic-Con, which is the official launch of all the Reen Barrera Mind Style toys. So the box is a cardboard box. In pictures, it tends to look like wood and Mind Style is one of the best toy manufacturers in the world for this kind of art toy and the box is itself fantastic um, there's spot lamination if you watch the channel you know I'm big on spot lamination but that's really what creates the texture for this box there's kind of like a, a wood grain uh, kind of a counter wood grain that's printed in a spot lamination on the box so the box itself has a matte lamination and then there's some shiny bits and that really adds to the texture of the entire box. And then on the front, the character itself is there. And he also has a spot lamination on him. This is the Reen Barrera Ulala. Says here, number one. This is the first ever vinyl toy made by Reen Barrera. And it's made by MindStyle. Mind blowing. Other than that, let's flip it over. Because there is something I do want to show you. It says Reen Barrera, powered by Vinyl on Vinyl. So congratulations to Reen, congratulations to Vinyl on Vinyl. So it's a magnetic closure box. Top opens up. And there's the toy. There's some writing over here. We'll get to that. Let's pull out the toy first. He sits in this bed of hay. And uh, yeah, there's nothing in there. Oh, I forgot to point out. Uh, on the back of the box, there's also a holographic sticker. All licensed products from MindStyle have these. And that's your certificate, kind of your certificate of authenticity um, with the serial number of the individual toy on that sticker. This is a limited toy, as I mentioned, does not come out until San Diego Comic-Con. And some of you might say, well, SDCC already happened. No. SDCC 2023 so this is a whole 10 10 months in advance of the actual release date 80 pieces have been sent here to the Philippines so that Manila can get first dibs on this bad boy right here so pull it out of the bag and this is the Reen Barrera Ulala now this has actually been opened already when I bought it uh, Reen was there and he is a friend and he was kind enough to sign it for me. So it has the Reen that's there. The, the gold one is the one that's already on the toy as the signature. And then here written in white is the hand written signature autographed by Reen Barrera. Now for fans of Reen, this is a great moment. This is a really special moment. Um, these toys are one of his oldest works as far back as I know him. I've known Reen since 20. 15, 16, when we were organizing Art Mart for the city of BGC. And he would show up with these porcelain doll heads of the Ulalas that he would hand paint. 
and he was selling them for 500 pesos a piece. It's either five or 600 pesos, a ridiculous price. This toy retails for 10,500 pesos or around $200. Um, so you see the jump. Right now, those Ulala pieces are going for 70,000 pesos and up, or what's that, 1,200 um, US dollars. So huge jump. Um, and that's, that's how I first met Reen. Of course, at the time, I had young children, I had debt. I wasn't in a position to really buy those things. So when this came out, I really saw it. Okay, this is this is my moment to be able to purchase and own a Reen art piece as a vinyl toy. I like the vinyl toys because they're a little bit more sturdy than the regular sculptures. Now the head on this is not porcelain. The original one, they were all porcelain and the bodies were made out of repurposed wood. That's why I was saying earlier that wood is a very... Uh, is an ongoing theme in Rian's works. Um, and then he, the first time he made a big statue was 2020 or late 2019. One of the two. We wrote about it on Ejima.com. That was his first big sculpture and he actually made it out of the wood from his bed. He broke apart his bed and he made a sculpture out of it. Let's read the rest of the stuff written on the box. Born in Paris, France and now living in the Philippines, Artist Rin Barrera, as a child, did not have a lot of toys growing up. He vaguely remembers owning two or three action figures, and he considers himself a toy-deprived kid. Bored of doing nothing at home, Rin starts making his own toys using found objects, not knowing that he naturally found his calling as an artist. Rin went on to take art classes in high school and attended college studying fine arts as his major. He ended up working in advertising before becoming a full-time artist in 2014. Today, he is one of the breakthrough artists emerging out of Southeast Asia. Rien's art exhibitions are commonly sold out in advance with collectors having to wait up to a year or more to get one of his original paintings or highly sought after wooden collectible figures. As I said, when I found out that this toy was launching, I jumped in the car and drove the vinyl on vinyl. I, I assure you, if they had pre-announced it, it would have sold out. I brought it here to Honeycomb today. One of our members um, wanted to get one, and I called up the gallery. They've been closed yesterday, and they were closed today, but there were no more left. So what you're seeing is a true advanced release um, of the number one Ulala from Reen Barrera. Taking a closer look at the toy, kind of the story of the Ulalas is that um, they have it written on their face. They have their emotions written on their face and what they're feeling. So on the face of this Ulala, it has a crown. Um, it has some red markings and then it says, let no fly. Now all of this is made of resin, but the body is made to look like wood that's been scratched up and painted on by a child. And then like a child, he's wearing a backpack. The figure is 12 inches tall. A lot of toys come in this format. So usually there's a three inch, a six inch and a 12 inch. This is a 12 inch that will go really well side by side with your other 12 inch toys. It is a one of a kind piece. If you want, uh, if you do want this, it is a limited release, but they are having an official release next year. I believe Vinyl on Vinyl brought in 80 pieces of this one. There's a number two and a number three. Uh, number two is I believe the one named Love or the one number two is named Mother and then number three is Love. And those three are all on display at Vinyl on Vinyl. Um, and then I believe the other two came with 40 pieces and they have another 40 coming. As far as I know, that is the entire pre-release schedule for this toy until SDCC next year. At which point, hopefully there'll be more for everyone to be able to get one. Um, but even at that point, it will be limited release as shown by the little serial number on the back. Now, if you have time, do go and visit the show at Vinyl on Vinyl. It opened last Saturday, which is October 1. It's going to run the entire month. So a lot of gallery shows run two weeks here in the Philippines. This one's going to run all month, and I believe it's until November 10, more or less around that timing window. So if you have the time, do go out and visit the gallery show. He has some paintings there. He has these toys, he, but he also has some of the hand-carved wooden versions of the ulala that are all hand painted 
those are gorgeous you should go have a look at them there's a dog in kind of in that universe another character that he brought into the mix and then something new he also did a series of uh, paperwork so he did some hand-drawn pastel artworks and those are also for sale at a very affordable price if you compare it to everything else uh, that Rena's come out and it is a, an important piece because he hasn't done paperworks before this is the first time that he's doing them in a show and they are really great to look at they look like uh, children's books that he made so I'm actually gonna bring my kids over there to go and see what it looks like oh did I mention they have giant versions of these toys. There's an ulala there that's got to be 12 feet tall. It's massive. If you want to go and take a look at that, uh, if you want to purchase it, maybe you want to purchase it instead of a car. <laughs> they are wonderful to see. Honestly, when I when I saw them in vinyl on vinyl, I was I was almost crying. That's how how wonderful these sculptures are. And if you can make the time, go over there to vinyl on vinyl. The video doesn't do it justice. You have to step in the room and experience art. So if you enjoyed this video where we unboxed and looked at this toy by Rene Barrera, make sure that you do leave a like and leave a comment and go and see his show more than anything else. If you are interested in collecting art toys and artwork, this is a great place to start. It's affordable. Uh, he's a great Filipino artist. Maybe you can remember back in the day when you wanted to buy a a quick toy or you saw it you didn't understand what it was and you didn't pick, pick one up back then that moment has come around again and you have an opportunity to pick one up um, within this year maybe at SDCC this is a great artist he has a great body of work and head over to vinyl and vinyl and enjoy that body of work I wish you guys good luck I wish you guys good health 